After my recent 8-ball break cheat codes video, several people asked why I didn't include the 8-ball side gap effect mentioned on Joe Tucker's Racking Secrets DVD. When using the second ball break, if there is a gap on the far side of the 8, there is a greater chance to pocket the 8 in the side. In this video, I look at odds for how often the 8 goes with the side gap. I also show how to read a rack to take advantage of this effect. All breaks featured are on a valley bar box with no table training or racking template. The cloth in the rack area is fairly worn and marked up, so the balls, which are also old and beat up, don't usually rack tightly, so the results should be consistent with typical 8-ball league play. During my testing, sometimes I added the piece of tissue paper here between the 5 and 8 to artificially create a gap when the rack was tight. Other times, the gap was already there naturally after attempting to rack tightly. And sometimes, I just nudged one of the balls by hand to create the gap. This isn't acceptable in actual play, but I wanted to make sure there was a side gap for every break in this video. Here, there was a gap on both sides of the 8, so I nudged the 6 to close one, leaving a gap only between the 4 and 8. Concerning reading a rack, after the balls are racked, either by you or your opponent, you can inspect to see if there's a gap on either side of the 8. If there is, and you are using the second ball break, you should break from the opposite side of the table. Here, there is a gap between the 11 and 8, so a break from the opposite side gives good results. So again, if there is a gap on the left side of the rack, break from the right side of the table. And if there is a gap on the right side of the rack, break from the left side of the table. In preparation for this video, I hit 47 second ball breaks with a side gap. I show them all later at fast speed, but I wanted to first share some of the noteworthy breaks here. Here are some examples of making the 8 on the break. A low percentage 8 ball on the break strategy is not a good approach if you don't tend to also pocket other balls. Fortunately, as you will see in the statistics section later, other balls are also made often with the second ball break, even with the side gap. As with my previous second ball break video, the most common ball to pocket is the far corner ball. Here are some examples. Sometimes the 8 didn't go on the side, and the corner ball didn't go straight to the pocket as planned, but other balls were still made. Here's an example break with three balls pocketed. There is a little randomness in break results, especially on a bar box, where the racked balls might have more variability. That's one thing that makes pool interesting. The layouts after the break are always different, with a great variety of challenges to solve. In this section, I show all 47 breaks at fast speed, in the order they were recorded. I will summarize all interesting statistics in the next section. I've added some background electronic music for your listening pleasure. Enjoy!
In a recent video, I filmed 60 bar box second ball breaks with the rack as tight as I could get for each break. Here are the statistics from that set of breaks. With the gap next to the 8 ball, both the ball make and scratch percentages were about the same, but the 8 on the break percentage was almost 4 times higher. I pocketed the 8 9 out of 47 times for a make percentage of 19%. That's almost 1 in 5. If you are playing in a league or tournament where sinking the 8 on the break gives you a win, this make percentage offers a significant advantage. And even if you aren't, the increased chances of making 8 on the break helps your overall chance to pocket a ball and control the table. I also had a run of 11 straight successful breaks with a ball made and no scratch. But remember, as shown in my break statistics resource page, even the pros don't pocket a ball on the break every time. On a bar box, their ball make percentage is usually between about 65 and 75 percent. I hope you enjoyed my series of videos dealing with 8 ball break strategy. If you want to learn more, see the video and resource page links in the video description or pinned comment. In my next video, I'll show and analyze some of the bar box 8 ball runouts I recorded while doing the second ball break study. Be sure to click on the subscribe and bell notification buttons so you won't miss this and other future videos. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.